Hey guys, check it out. It's my brand new Raspberry Pi Model 2. Thought I'd do a quick unboxing for you. Full disclosure, Element 14 actually sent me this one so that I could do this unboxing for you guys, which is really cool. I really appreciate all the help and support that I'm getting from the community that's surrounding these. I've got 6,000 subscribers now, and some of the discussions that are happening in the uh, comment section below these videos is fantastic. Anyways, let's get started on our unboxing. So let's just have a quick look at the outside of the box first. You can tell that this is a Raspberry Pi Model 2 because it has a giant 2 on the front of it. Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 2, and on the front it noted, notes that it's the Model B with one gigabyte of RAM. Here on the bottom is the Element 14 stuff, and I'm going to talk more about that soon. In the top right corner it says, six times faster, make, learn, and design. Six times faster, we'll get to the CPU in a bit. Just uh, some stuff on the side there. On the back, it says it's a quad-core Broadcom BCU with one gig of RAM, 40-pin GPIO, micro SD slot, multiple ports, including the uh, four USBs, full HDMI, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. What have we got inside? There's the Raspberry Pi Model B. And there's something, oh, there's a book in this one. The Raspberry Pi Quick Start Guide and Safety Instruction Manual. Well, this is a lot more substantial than uh, what we used to get. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. In lots of different languages. But actually, it provides quite a bit more information than the... Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's only... Maybe it's only just a couple of pages, but in a couple of different languages. It's a book. I'm sure if you're here, you probably already know what the Raspberry Pi is. It's a small computer. So let's take a look at exactly what's inside. Well, it sure looks a lot like the Raspberry Pi Model B+. There's not a whole lot of difference that we can see at first glance. I'm just gonna zoom the camera in so we can get a closer look at the features inside. Okay guys, so let's have a quick look at the outside. For those of you who are new to Raspberry Pis, uh, I'll explain quickly what's around the outside. For those of you who have a B Plus already, you'll find it's very similar with just a couple of small differences. So here is the five volt power in, uh, which comes courtesy of a USB micro attachment, which I'm sure you already have on your mobile phone chargers. This is an HDMI. This is your camera ribbon slot, if you buy the camera peripheral for the Raspberry Pi. This is a four pole, 3.5 millimeter jack, which does your audio and your analog video if you don't have an HDMI connector. This is your ethernet connector. Here are four USB 2, and there are your 40 GPIO pins. This is your display ribbon, but as yet, Raspberry Pi has yet to release a display. In the center of the board, we have the new upgraded, there it is, the new Broadcom chip. That Broadcom chip is a quad-core ARM7. Now, what's unusual is that the old one was an ARM11, and the new one is an ARM7, but the ARM7 is better and faster. The ARM naming conventions do get a little bit confusing, especially because these things weren't really named for a mass consumer audience in the first place, but now, of course, they are for mass consumer audiences. All right, flipping it over to the back side. This is actually the one gigabyte RAM module, and here we can see the micro SD slot. So that's your basic tour of the Raspberry Pi Model 2. But it raised some questions for me. What exactly is the difference between this and the Model B Plus? So let's have a quick look. All right, so as you saw, the Raspberry Pi Model 2 comes in this box that says Raspberry Pi Model 2, but it sure does look a lot like the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. There's a couple of key differences. The first is that this box, the 2, is a much taller box. I don't know if you can quite tell that, but there's a, almost a, a finger width in, in terms of height difference between the two. Okay, popping this open.
there's the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus. Now let's take a closer look so we can see exactly the difference between the two. Okay, so we can see on the left is the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, and on the right is the Raspberry Pi 2 Model B. Now, if you thought the ARM naming convention was confusing, this surely has got you a little bit perplexed. On the left, the B Plus has a bigger logo, but that's kind of the only difference you can really tell. Just artificial, it's like surface, just looking at it, the only thing you can really tell the difference is that logo is bigger there and smaller there. The CPU is slightly bigger on the uh, Raspberry Pi 2, slightly smaller on the B+, Plus, but if you just saw that out of context, it would be pretty difficult to tell. The only, really, the only real way to tell here is that the logo is bigger than the chip on the B+, Plus and it's smaller on the 2. Let's flip it over to the other side here. Now at least, now at least there's a difference. Now you can see at least the RAM module on the on the Model 2 will tell us that this is different than the B+. Otherwise, they're really difficult to tell the difference. But, it, you know, this is, this is the naming convention problem that we have, that the Model 2 actually probably isn't as big an upgrade over the B+, as the B+, was over the Raspberry Pi Model B. Here I've got the Raspberry Pi Model B, and as you can see, the difference between the B to the B Plus is fairly substantial. A lot of stuff has moved around. Uh, you'd think that this would be called the Raspberry Pi 2, but it's not. They saved that name for this one, which is very similar to the B Plus. It starts to get confusing, and I understand that there's going to be a percentage of the audience out there that is confused by this, but all you need to know is that they're all compatible. It doesn't really matter which one you've got. They're, they all work with each other. They're all based on the same Linux core, in most cases. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second. But they're, they're all intercompatible. So if you've built something that for your B+, it'll certainly work on your 2. If you've built something for your B, it'll certainly work on your 2. You know, these, these things will be interchangeable. And the GPIOs, while there's more of them on the B+, and on the two, you can still use projects that are based on the Raspberry Pi Model B, which is important for a couple of reasons, not least which are that all the Raspberry Pi projects that are available on YouTube, like my projects, and there's lots of them, they're all compatible with all three of these. So don't be worried. You can get any of these three or the A or the A+, or I'm sure the A plus two that's coming soon, they all work together. And that brings us to our next question. Is it worth upgrading from your Raspberry Pi B or B plus to the Model 2? And the answer is yes and no and sometimes, but not really, unless you really need to, but sometimes you don't. Okay, so let me explain. The CPUs on the B and the B plus are adequate for most projects. And I say most projects because I've made a lot of these projects. For example, my weather pie, or my alarm clock radio, or activating relays. You don't really need a more powerful CPU in order to achieve that. So if you've already got a B or a B plus, you don't need to run out to the shops and buy a new Raspberry Pi Model 2. But if you're going to buy one for the first time, there's no point in buying the B plus or the B. If you're buying one for the first time, you certainly should be buying the Raspberry Pi 2. In fact, there are some heavily dependent CPU projects that really do require the Raspberry Pi Model 2. Those might include, say, OpenCV, which is a face tracking. Anything that we're doing with you know, high-end video processing, or I shouldn't have said high-end, or anything we're doing with video processing, or stuff like using your TV as a desktop. As a desktop replacement, you certainly want to be going after the Raspberry Pi 2. Is the Raspberry Pi 2 better than the previous incarnations? Well, it's got a faster CPU, so it can do more stuff and do it faster, and it's got more RAM, so it can store more active programs as it's happening. I have a feeling this is gonna help a lot with the web browsing problems that the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus is having. 
However, the Raspberry Pi 2 isn't a complete upgrade over the Raspberry Pi Model B. And what I mean by this is really all we're getting is a new CPU. We don't yet have the gigabit ethernet. We still have 10100. So this is slower and I would not recommend this as your NAS. It's not an upgrade worthy for NAS projects, network attached storage. Really, 10100 is a bit slow. And while it's okay if you have one of these lying around and you're thinking you'd like to start building your home network, that's fine. But it's not really the choice that you should be making. It, it has a slower ethernet port. They also didn't upgrade the HDMI, which means that we're still living in the world of HDMI 1.4. Again, it's adequate, but was this enough to merit the name change from the Raspberry Pi model B plus to the two? Probably not. So I, I do want to be realistic about this and, and I want to give sound advice here. Do you need the Raspberry Pi 2 for projects that are on that demand high CPU usage? Yes, you absolutely do. If you don't need high CPU usage, like most of the projects that I've done, then you're fine with the Raspberry Pi Model B. If you're going to buy one for the first time, yes, buy the two. If you're going to build projects that demand a high speed Ethernet port, don't buy Raspberry Pi at this time. Just one more thing I wanted to quickly chat about. I, as I said earlier in this video, I was lucky enough to have Element 14 send me this Raspberry Pi Model 2. And I really appreciate it, and I'm very thankful for them doing that. But I noticed on the bottom of the box it said Element 14 and Element14.com, and I wondered what the relationship was with Element 14 to Raspberry Pi. It made me wonder if this box was custom made for Element 14, and somehow I'd previously, even though I hadn't been buying them directly from Element 14, I had also been getting those sorts of boxes. Now this is the B plus box, but I went ahead and ordered a Raspberry Pi Model 2 from Amazon. And as you can see, it also comes with the Element 14 logo at the bottom. So I'm not really clear what the relationship with Element 14 and Raspberry Pi is. So I thought I would ask you guys if in the comment section below, you'd let me know. If you look inside the box, it's exactly the same. It's got the same instruction manual. It's got the same Raspberry Pi Model 2. So what's the difference? Is Element 14 involved in the manufacture of these? Are they the main distributors that provide it to people like Amazon? I'm really not clear. If you guys have an answer, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay guys, just before I finish up, one of the most important important features of the new Raspberry Pi 2 is the inclusion of Windows. Now it's not available at the release of this video, but we know that it's coming soon. Windows will be running on the Raspberry Pi. I have mixed feelings about this, if I'm honest. Part of me says that there's an amazing thing happening to the Linux community because of the Raspberry Pi. And having been part of the Linux community for a number of years now, I was really happy that the Raspberry Pi was bringing Linux to the, to the masses. I mean, these devices have sold nearly 4 million copies now. However, Windows will also help a new audience reach the Raspberry Pi. And that's going to be good. That's going to be really positive. The GPIO pins and their access to Windows means that a greater number of projects will be available. And that's really cool. Should you run out and buy the Raspberry 2? Yeah, you probably should. If you already own a Raspberry Pi, you'll probably be okay without it for a little while, but eventually you'll probably want it anyways. Well guys, thanks for watching my unboxing video. This has been the Raspberry Pi Model 2. It's a cool and useful upgrade for some projects, not everything. If you're just about to get into a Raspberry Pi, definitely this is the model you should be looking for. It it and its four USB ports will be very useful and you'll enjoy it very much. We're developing a really awesome community around these videos and I hope that you'll take the time to post in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, please give us a thumbs down. And if you particularly enjoyed the video, you can buy me a cup of coffee. 
check the About section for that and for other projects that I've done with the Raspberry Pi, including some links to all the stuff that you saw here today and other stuff that you generally need for the Raspberry Pi. Check my follow-up video where I'm going to uh, boot this up and we'll have a look at exactly what the Raspberry Pi Model 2 is capable of. Thanks very much for watching.